Good morning, guys, from Baku in Azerbaijan. Baku is an amazing, eclectic mix of architectures. It's a beautiful city. And it's kind of testament to what governments can achieve when they reinvest just a bit of their wealth into their architecture. But I want to get outside of Baku and I want to see what's happening in the provinces. And so I've hired a car and I'm going to invite you to join me on an Azerbaijani road trip to somewhere or other. Let's, um, let's have a little bit of an adventure together. Let's do it. So the truth is, I don't know anything more about Azerbaijan than you guys. But I bought a map. And this map, which is already torn, is hopefully going to take us on an adventure. Here's Baku. And here's some highways. And look here, it's a town, bloody hell it's windy, called Ganja. A town called Ganja. I think that's as good a place as any to check out. So um, let's jump in the old hire car. Here she is. What a beauty. And let's drive to Ganja with a torn map. What could possibly go wrong? All right, let's try and find our way out of Baku on the road to Ganja. I'm driving in the Caucasus, it's so dangerous. This is worse than a Bolivian village. They drive fast in the Caucasus. Wah! Let's do it, we're off to Ganja. Woohoo, yeah man, Bob Marley. Watch out, pedestrians of Baku. <laughs> There's a menace in town. Check out these funky apartments. Wow, oh, I want to live there. Check them out. Or is it the Hyatt? Ah, it's a hotel. Okay, maybe not. Well, you don't have to go very far outside of Baku until you're in the... Um the Soviet world that I know. No fancy buildings up this part of town. Anyway, I'm lost. Это дорога M4 я хочу. M4. Да. Но я не знаю куда. Вот эта вот дорога прямо идёт. А, туда? Прямо. Прямо, прямо, да? В принципе, я хочу Ганджа. А, в Ганджу? Да, я ищу Ганджа. Нужно. А вы где им хотите выкладывать? А, может быть, в YouTube. <laughs> you need yeah, okay. Хорошо. This is the man who just helped me. He's going to help me find Ganja. <laughs> Hope so. Before I came to Azerbaijan, I didn't know much about it. But what I did know was that the capital was going to be amazing. It was going to be beautiful. Azerbaijan was very lucky in that when the Soviet Union collapsed and when Azerbaijan again had independence, it inherited um, some vast oil, um, some vast oil fields in the Caspian Sea. And that money has been reinvested into Baku to make it an international beautiful city. But I, what I wanted to find out was how is life in Azerbaijan outside of Baku? Well, I'm now 15 miles outside of Baku, and um, this is it. How are you? Assalamu alaikum, brad. You speak English? My name is Azerbaijani. You're Azerbaijani? Ha. Your name? My name is Shay. Shay, my name is Ben. Pleased to meet you. Uh, how old are you? Whoa! What's happening here? <laughs> Mafia, gangster. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I don't understand, but okay. Let's check it out. Let's look. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! High five! <laughs> okay, boys. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Take care. Don't blow your fingers off. What friendly, lovely people. They don't live in the nicest environment here. I mean, look at it. It's a little bit rough, but um, the kids are lovely. Azerbaijan, yes, Azerbaijan. So is this where you live? Oh, let's check it out. Yeah, wow, what's this? So this is an apartment building. Is this where you live? 
Okay. Indian Sutra Timsa. Wow. I like that you talk to me, but I don't understand a word you're saying, but you carry on. You're a brilliant I tour guide. Sir. What's here? A chicken? Got you. It's going to be a kebab, one day. Wow. Oh, what? Oh, I like no, it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No? Problem? No, no. What's going to happen? Are you scared no, no. of chickens? <laughs> you scared? Wow, but look how the trash strewn place is here. But these are the old Soviet apartments. You can see the old decor of the old Soviet balconies. Now everyone's got a satellite dish. And here people hang out their washing. Wow. It's a, um, yes. I thought Azerbaijanis were tough people, but you're scared of chickens. Yeah, this is for like triple Ah, got ya. Salam alaikum. Yeah. Ah, so can I show. Took a tourist, he's angry. Can you pass more to Kaka Azerbaijan? Oh, it's true. Да, я не знал, что здесь. Ну да, это здесь не так хорошо, конечно. Это не как Баку. Я знала, что здесь беженцы все живут. Да, беженцы. Весь Карабах. А, весь Карабах. Конечно. Поэтому заходи, посмотри, как мы живем. Хорошо. Если вам не... These people are... Um, they're refugees from Nagorno-Karabakh. English or Russian? Not English. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Ой, спасибо вам. Ah. Так вы были здесь давно тогда? Yeah. Когда переехали? 25 лет назад. 25 лет назад, да? И за Шуша или какой город вы? Мы жили в городе Шуша. Шуша, да? Понятно, понятно. Наверное, скучаете про ваш город, очень, ваша очень, земля. Очень. Я представляю, как это тяжело. Да, очень скучаем. Ну, вот бы поехать там своим глазам один раз увидеть, да надо. А. Я здесь сигарет курю там. И здесь свети сажаю, вот здесь. Это большое. А, понял, понял. Я, это я сделал, чтобы коровы не съели. Свети сажаю там разные. Понятно. Можно я вопрос про э, Нагорный Карабах? Можно? Что вы помните в ваше время, э, когда была при СССР, вы дружились с армянской любви? Или всегда было... Нет, нет, у нас конфликт не было. Как знаешь, мы как вы служили хорошо. Со армянским, да? Были соседи и все. Да, мы жили там, где они живут. Мы вот там жили, под совсем соседи были. У нас все хорошо было. Да, да. Что случилось тогда? Как это все возникало? Как же? Это, знаете, это вопрос не для нас. Мы не можем точно тебе говорить. Да. А вы думаете, что однажды вы будете возвращаться туда жить или это все? Никогда не будете. Меня, Но я очень это. хотел бы, я. Ну, ну это, наверное, в моей жизни не хватит. А это помидорчики, сама их делала. Ой, спасибо вам большое, это очень добрый. Я не ожидал это. Почему? Ну, потому что в Англии, если э, вы посмотрите человек на улице, вряд ли, что кто-то будет сказать, давайте да. мой дом кушать. В Англии мы это совсем Нет, не знаем. Ну, здесь это другой. Где еще в мире, где люди просто приглашают вас в дом, и потом приготовят еду для вас. Приглашают вас сидеть и брать бред с ними. It's, um, it's always the way, isn't it? The people who seem to have almost nothing are the people who seem to give the most. Спасибо. А, русский знает. Спасибо вам большое за приглашение. Спасибо за чай и все. Давайте, надеюсь, что еще раз будем встретимся. Ну, мы ждем, ждем. Спасибо вам, спасибо. До свидания, до свидания. That was unexpected and it explains why the people here are living in these conditions. These are the refugees from 
one of the many walls that tore apart the republics at the end of the Soviet Union. I think as we push deeper into the region, we'll eventually hear more about the conflicts that took place in Nagorno-Karabakh, Ossetia and Abkhazia. Hello again. <laughs> hey, good to meet you, brother. Yeah, my machina. I don't know. <laughs> hey, brother. Bye bye, bye bye. Nice to meet you. I think we found a winner on who has the best roads in a former Soviet Union. Check this out for smoothness. Look at that. Heading off into the mountains. The Mari El Republic can't compete with this. We're in a convoy with some larders. Check him out. Convoy. Larder convoy. The dream. I've just pulled off the highway because over this little hillock here I notice a guy herding some sheep. Let's go and have a look at what he's up to with his sheep. He's probably going to get the surprise of his life when I pop up over the hill. I think we're going to see a real Azerbaijani cowboy. Assalamu alaikum. Whoa. 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 Hello. Hello. Is it okay? Hello. Oh my god, what have I done? Ah. Hello guys. Oh, okay. Grasli. Grasli hat ja pas motret. Sto pas jest. No problem? Whoa, <laughs> that scared me. Okay, no Ruski yet? Oh, okay, my friend, okay. Just wanted to see, wow. Shashlik. Shashlik. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, my friend, bye bye. Don't want to disturb you. See you later, dog. Thank you for not tearing me apart. The adventures you could have if you hired a car and came on the road to Ganja. <laughs> you can freak out some Azerbaijani cowboy too. Driven from the mainland to the heart of the Caribbean. I just noticed this memorial of some sort as I was driving along the road. So I thought, let's pull off and um, check out what it is, what it's about. You can see here that the people who died, the graves of the soldiers are all from the year, well, they died in 92, 92, 93, which means that these are the soldiers who fell in the fight in the Karabakh. 92. 92. Here is a map of Azerbaijan. And maps of Azerbaijan that are printed in Azerbaijan differ greatly from maps of Azerbaijan that are printed in Armenia. Here, Nagorno-Karabakh has been included. This is the region of Nagorno-Karabakh down here. Whereas in an Armenian map, this will all be Armenian land. Wow, check this out, guys. It's not every day you come across an old Soviet fighter plane perched up in the hills. What the hell? What is that? A MiG? I'm sure some 
smart Alec can tell me what that is exactly. I have no idea, but flipping heck. It's bloody huge. Is this how big fighter planes are? It's bloody huge. Wow, but the metal's just been torn off. I don't know if that is from war. Maybe it was shot down. Maybe it was an enemy fighter or something that was shot down. I don't know. The fact that it's just got so many... His metal just been ripped off. Wow, man. What a beast. Look at it. And here's the cockpit. The seat's gone. That's the cockpit. Whoa. I wonder what the story behind this plane is. What happened to the pilot? <laughs> what a plane. Wow. Just left it to rot. Right, let's get back on the road to Ganja, which is about another three hours away. I'll be lucky to make it by nightfall. Cause every little thing gonna be all right. I've pulled off the road because I've just seen my first real piece of Sovietness on this trip. At last. I think I've just seen a Soviet mosaic. Let's check it out. It is a Soviet mosaic. Check it out. This is the first piece of Sovietness I've seen in Azerbaijan. Everything else has been destroyed and taken down, but this, look, this was built by Soviet hands back in the day. Of course, falling into disrepair, but still. And behind it seems to be some kind of old Soviet cafe. Let's go and have a cup of coffee. Wow, bye-bye Soviet mosaic. You can see up here, the old Soviet signs that were up here, the um, decorations. They love that kind of gray metal stuff. So this is probably like a roadside cafe that has been here for a long, long time. Let's go into the old Soviet cafe. What are you doing? What are you и что-то выпить. А, не, я за рулем, я имею в виду, к сожалению. Всегда были кафе или советские времена? Советские времена остался, да, такой? Да? Да, старый. Вау, советский кафе. Такой старый, да? Вау, интересно для меня. Для турист интересно. Вау, the Soviet cafe. Слава Алику. Рядом в аптите. I'm literally in a Soviet um, truck stop, I suppose and I like it. It's interesting to think, isn't it? Who would have stopped off at the Soviet roadside truck stops back in the day? Truck drivers who were driving their old Ural vans, all across the former Soviet Union, delivering goods from factories to towns. They would have stopped off here and had a shashlik and a, and a coffee, just like I'm doing now. If these walls could speak, the stories they could tell. Soviet, Soviet, Soviet. So let me show you what you get for a couple of pounds here in Azerbaijan on the, on the open highway. You get salad, you get chicken shashlik, you get bread, you get a coffee. Everything a man needs to continue his journey through the mountains of Azerbaijan. All right, let's tuck in. Of course, Nabil. Thank you. 
Пожалуйста. До свидания. Интересное место, старый. Мне да, очень да, нравится, да. как старый. Да. До свидания. I've noticed that Azerbaijani men like to wear black. I look a little bit out of place in my bright red puffer jacket. Does it end? No. Wow. Check out this place up ahead. This palace of a hotel. Well, I've pulled up to this fancy hotel in the middle of nowhere just because it's dark and I don't want to be missing, missing any Soviet treasures on the road to Ganja. So I'm going to stay here for the night. Hopefully it's not ridiculously expensive, although I expect it is. Look at it. Wow. Oh my God, it looks fancy inside. Crikey. This is going to, um, <laughs> this is going to break the bank, I think. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. That's even. Wow. Check it out, this place. <laughs> wow. Someone's been spending that oil money. So it's going to cost me 62 pounds for the night. 62 pounds. I think it's going to be worth it. Thank you. <laughs> Check this place out. What a bloody hell. Hey, it's not bad, is it? Wow. What's in this room? Hmm. What's in this room then? Party shower. Well, I'm really living the high life in Azerbaijan. <laughs> this is a complete departure from my usual traveling lifestyle. Well, that was quite the day. We've met refugees. We've met sheep farmers. We've tried some food. We've climbed old airplanes. Wow, if only every day on my travels could be so interesting. Well, Let's see what tomorrow has in store on the road to Ganja as we continue the journey. Good night, John boy.